Welcome to my Something to Remember Ballad Collection. Starting off with the first single you'll see. This is the cassette from Europe. It's a single. It has a you'll see edit on side one. Side two has the instrumental. Next is the US CD Maxi single. This has the album version, the instrumental, and the Spanish version, which is called Veres and Live to Tell Live from the Who's That Girl World Tour. Next is the 12 inch release of You'll See. Exact same tracks as the CD maxi single from the United States. Next, these remixes were strictly only available on this promo 12 inch vinyl. And the remixes are incredible. I absolutely love the Love Don't Live Here Anymore remixes. There is the Hot Radio Edit. Edge Factor dub, Early Morning dub, and on the other side there is the Extended Journey and Hot Mix edit of Love Don't Live Here Anymore. I almost forgot I have one more single of You'll See, and it's this imported CD. This ha used to have a Madonna calendar and these were the images on it. But I'm just happy just, just to have the music CD in my collection. The last single that I have of Love Don't Live Here Anymore is the cassette single from the United States. It has the Soul Power Radio remix and album version. Here is my complete collection of the full-length ballad collection of Something to Remember on a cassette, CD, and vinyl. So starting with a cassette tape, this is pressed in the United States. Very simple, beautiful white backdrop, background, and Madonna's wearing uh, Versace dresses. This is from the Versace clothing campaign. So it's really simple, elegant, and beautiful. This was the first pressing of the CD. It had a clear tray in the back and the barcode was on the actual CD. This was the first, very first pressing of Something to Remember. And I think it's kind of rare. Next is the re-release with the white tray and an insert in the back with Madonna and the track listing and the barcode. It's a great ballad collection. There was three new singles. That was I Want You with Massive Attack. The song is a Marvin Gaye song that Madonna had remade. So they had the original version then the instrumental version or orchestral version with Massive Attack at the end. Uh, the other two new songs was You'll See which was a uh, a follow-up to um, Take a Bow, because Madonna had said in an interview that she wanted to do a sequel to Take a Bow, where instead of in Take a Bow, where she was the victim of a love affair gone wrong, she was empowered in You'll See. And uh, the bullfighter reprises his role in the music video, and it's very beautiful for You'll See. So uh, that was a follow-up to Take a Bow from Bedtime Stories. And the third single was One More Chance, written with David Foster. And that's what that... CD looks like. Then here is the repressing of Madonna's 1995 album of ballads. 180 gram vinyl includes I Want You with Massive Attack, You'll See, and Something to Remember from uh, the I'm Breathless album. 
and Something to Remember is a very beautiful song. So I'm glad to have this ballad collection on vinyl. I found it at uh, Barnes & Noble. So I was tickled pink to own this. And the last little goodie I have in this collection is a fan-made DVD of the music videos from this era. Talks about it right here. It's white on white, so it's really hard to see that text. And then this is the videos. Let's move on to my Evita collection. Starting off with the single Don't Cry For Me Argentina from the motion picture soundtrack of Evita starring Madonna. Here is the US Maxi Single CD and it has a lot of great remixes on it. I absolutely love it. Loved it ever since it was released. This was a great era and I really loved Madonna and Evita and you know her singing on the soundtrack and in the film. Just a great experience to see that in the movie theater when it was released. I saw it six to seven times. And here is the import CD of Don't Cry For Me Argentina. This is not the remixes, it has a black border and this image of Madonna here at the Casa Rosada, which is the pink house, is much smaller. So, um, yeah, she was really at the Casa Rosada in Argentina. So there is the track listing right there, three tracks. Uh, one of these days I eventually plan to get the import remixes, but right now I do have the U.S. remixes right here. Next is the promo remixes of Don't Cry For Me Argentina on 12-inch vinyl. has that red sticker across the generic black jacket of this uh, vinyl. There is the back. And here is the last that I have of this single on 12 inch vinyl, the standard release. Beautiful image of Madonna there. And there's the remixes. This was a Hollywood Pictures film, which is a subsidiary of Disney Films. So Madonna has starred in two Disney films, which was Dick Tracy and Evita, the musical. Okay, let's move on to the next single. Alright, here is my remaining singles from the Evita soundtrack. This is the U.S. CD single of You Must Love Me. And yes, there is an import CD of this that has uh, three or four tracks on it. I'll get it eventually, sometime. So this has You Must Love Me in Rainbow High. Beautiful image of Madonna there as Ava Perone from the film. Okay, next is limited edition CD with three film postcards. Madonna, another suitcase in another hall. Includes the Oscar-nominated hit single, You Must Love Me. That song was created new for this film, written lyrics written by Tim Rice, music by Andrew Lloyd Webber. And uh, Tim Rice went on to write lyrics for films such as the animated Disney film Lion King and Aladdin. Okay, here is the film postcards. Ava on the Rainbow Tour, getting re getting ready to go on it. The Waltz for Ava and Che. And another scene from the Rainbow High segment of the film there. Great postcards. And behind it is Che with the people of Argentina singing the song New Argentina. Okay. And... 
The final single I got here is the promo 12 inch of Buenos Aires. Remixes by Pablo Flores and Javier Garza. I just love that photo sticker right here. And actually that's Madonna's dancer from the girly show, Luca Tomasini. That's him right there. So yeah, he had a little dancing part with Madonna in the movie Evita. So that's some knowledge in case you didn't know. Let's move on to the collection I have for the full length music soundtrack. Here is my collection of what I own of the full length soundtrack from the film, starting with the double cassette tape. This is a United States pressing. And yes, it does have the pictures in it, just like the CD does. Beautiful photographs from the film. And there's a few on the inside. I absolutely adore this film. I'm so glad that I got to see it six or seven times in the movie theater when it released. And here is the second cassette. Now here is the two CD set of the soundtrack. I had a paper out when this came out a month before the film released and I learned all the songs on that paper out because I drove that route over a hundred miles every day. It took five to six hours a day to do that route six days a week went through six to seven cars in two to three years so it was a dead expense job and I was a teenager yeah the paper out I wasn't on foot I was as I said I was driving a car so that's how I listened to the soundtrack I had it on CD listened to it every day on that paper out for an entire month Knew the songs in and out, back and forth. When I went to go see the film, I, I knew every song. So, yeah, it was thrilling. And I won a contest in the official Madonna fan club the very first time. Um, I forgot to pull out that thing because it's... I won um, a press book for Evita. And I've shared it in past videos on my channel. So I just didn't feel like digging it out. I have a book on the making of Evita. I didn't drag that out. And I have um, that press booklet I won. I was actually a winner of something in the official Madonna fan club. And it was the great Evita sweepstakes. And I won the press book. Okay. And this is the Japanese pressing of the soundtrack. And it's only one disc. It's not two. Like this. So it's just a selection of songs from the movie right here on one disc alright next let me share all the versions of the film that I own here is everything that I own of the movie from VHS tape to Laserdisc to DVD to Blu-ray so I'm going to start with the VHS tape. This is the film that earned Madonna her Golden Globe Award for Best Actress. And I was so ecstatically happy for her. 
Next is the standard DVD release. Chris Colin Ebert gave it two thumbs up. One of the year's ten best. Unforgettable. Spectacular. You must see Evita. Winner of Best Picture from Golden Globe Award. And here is the 15th Anniversary Edition Blu-ray. Looks spectacular and sounds fantastic in high definition. And next is the widescreen laser disc version of Evita. see what the laser disc looks like. I'll pull this out. Looks like that. So this has two discs in it, two laser discs. And this is the Criterion Collection. So this has seven laser discs in it. And the fan club back in uh, 1998, 1999, they were selling this box set for $124.99. has tons of special features. Had a documentary that was never released in the United States. 42-minute documentary. The making of Evita never previously available in the United States. Yep. And it comes with a little fold-out booklet here. Note to the viewer. And there's one laser disc, side two of it, side three and four, five and six, and seven. And that is my collection on the movie Evita. I do have uh, one more DVD to share with you. Here is that DVD. It's fan made, Donna Evita. And they took sequences from the film. So these are all movie sequences from the film. They just made them like music videos. And then the extras are the MTV special, A New Madonna. I remember recording that live on television when it released, and that was exciting. Um, accepting the Golden Globe Award, her speech to Elizabeth Taylor, and the Academy Awards rehearsal. So that is my Something to Remember and Evita collection. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, if you want, tell me your favorite tracks from Something to Remember and from the film Evita. And if you perhaps saw it in the movie theater when the same time that I did back in 97 when it released in the theaters, or if you've just recently seen it, or if you plan on watching the film, because this is one blockbuster film that Madonna performed in, and it should not be missed. That's a classic. So until next time, I'll see you. Keep enjoying Madonna.